Hi guys, Mike here. Forgot to bring my tripod, so I guess I'm going to do everything handheld. But uh, decided to get out here today and uh, just spend a little time out in the bush. So let me show you where I'm at uh, right now. I'm just kind of actually on a uh, kind of a lookout, and I can see down through uh, birchwood and oak and quite a long ways down the hill here. There is some water in a creek uh, not too far away, but uh, not going to need it. Uh, but I have used it in the past. It's a good source for water. And it uh, comes out of the rocks uh, uh, and sand over to my left here in a, another part of the ravine. And, uh, yeah, just a gorgeous day. Anyway, on tap for this morning, we've got our uh, canteen shop uh, grill top stove and our USGI cup, stainless steel cup, and uh, canteen shop lid. And uh, working at bringing some water to a boil. Just put it on a couple of minutes ago. That's a good setup. And then uh, going to make us some oatmeal. This is uh, peaches and cream. <laughs> Just what I had in the in the pouch. Got some tea here, and uh, enjoying some dried apples. And got my trusty spoon. I thought I was going to have to carve one, but uh, that's our setup here. And uh, just having a little adventure. So. I guess that'll have to do it for now, but uh, just getting out and enjoying it. All right, catch you guys later. Hi guys, Mike here again. Um, stopped for a short break and uh, looked over to my right and found um, this kind of a weed that um, I, I don't have any idea what it is, but it exhibits all the qualities of uh, uh, good cordage. It's got great flexibility, uh, good tinsel strength. Uh, it's very hard, very fibrous, um, and I so I decided um, that I would take some of this and and flex it and stretch it and process it some and uh, make some natural cordage. I've got a two-strand twist here, and uh, it's very strong. And uh, I'm going to collect a little bit more of this and. We'll see how it looks um, after it's dried out some, but um, boy, it twists up into a nice, nice piece of cordage here. Uh, very strong stuff. I have no idea what it is, but uh, I'll show you. Let's take a little closer look at it here. So it's got uh, some yellow blossoms, and then uh, a very light, almost feathery kind of uh, leaf structure to it. I don't know if uh, that's clear there or not, uh, but it's in a small patch here, and uh, just decided to give it a try. Uh, here's a little bit more of it over here, and uh, yeah, so anyway, two-stranded twist. Uh, I've got about five inches here, and uh, I'm going to twist it up a little bit more and see what it, what it turns into. Uh, some of these fibers, uh, you know, when I've made natural cordage in the past, uh, once they dry out, they tend to lose a lot of their strength. Um, but we'll see what this does. I wish I knew what it was. It doesn't smell too bad. It's got a little bit of a musky smell to it. Uh, but it's very fibrous, very strong, very flexible. All right. Uh, we'll let you know how it comes out. Okay, guys. Well, I got some of that cordage made. And... Uh, I have about uh, two feet of it here, and it's still very flexible, very strong, and uh, we're going to see how it dries out and see how it works. So, you know, just for comparison here, I'll uh, let me lay it up on my pack here. You can kind of see. So, there it is laying on my pack, a couple of feet worth. And uh, 
we'll let it dry out and, and see how it goes. Um, so that's about it for natural cordage for right now. Uh, God, I hope this works out. Got probably enough here to make maybe thumb loops for uh, maybe a hand drill until I get my uh, floating hands completely practiced. Um, I've been using the uh, finger loops on mullen and uh, been wanting to get away from man-made cordage and use natural cordage so I might give this a try. Uh, if I could do that uh, I'd have a good source for making almost a completely good natural uh, fire set. Alright, well, natural cordage for today. Catch you later.